Welcome back everybody, my name is Matt, and we're back with another Let's Play video. Today we're going to be playing Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I apologize that I was away for so long, I was taking a little bit of a break, you know, with school and the holidays and everything like that. But, last time I left you guys, we were doing a little bit of a recap, or a tier list, of the Game Awards. And, let's be honest, they did not go the way any of us expected. However... The game of the year was Baldur's Gate, like I thought. It's an excellent game, and it's very, very well-deserved. Can we briefly talk about how Spider-Man, you see him back there and up there, did not get any awards for the second time. For Spider-Man 1, no awards. Spider-Man 2, no awards. And it, it's not the fact that it's a bad game, but I do want to say that they, they just released games in a very bad time. And the time they released this game... Uh, Baldur's Gate, you know, Alan Wake, uh, there's there's so many more, so many, so many more games that came out that just absolutely were fantastic. So the issue that they had in 2018, obviously, you know, 2018, great, great year for gaming. We had Red Dead 2, we had God of War, we had our Spider-Mans, so like, it, they're just unlucky with when they have games come out, and I feel like that's more about what it is than anything else. But... Since we're on the topic of Game of the Year, I wanted to bring this one up. So this game is something that I have I actually pre-ordered the last day before it came out. And I pre-ordered the ultimate, you know, like the, the best edition there was. I was like, ah, oh, it's cool. It's a game about samurais. And I've always liked this time period and everything. I didn't really know much about it or, you know, anything really about it. However, I did see it and I was like, ah, you know what? I got some money to spare. I got some time to kill. How about I get it? So I got it. I played maybe two hours of it on release, and I thought it was one of the best games I've ever played. And I, it still holds up. It's still a fantastic game. It came out in 2020, and obviously, you know, that's when the world shut down and gaming was huge. You know, gaming blew up, basically. But the thing that we saw, and also released in 2020, is The Last of Us Part 2. Or Last of Us 2, you know. Um, and I do want to say, that game won Game of the Year. It is well-deserved, however... This game should have also won. If there was a year where there could have been two Game of the Year winners, it was 2020. It was here. Last of Us Part Two is a masterpiece. And it's something that I want to get around to playing with you guys and so you guys can see everything. Um, but Ghost of Tsushima, had it come out the next year, obviously when it takes 2-1, Ghost of Tsushima would have cleared. Because Ghost of Tsushima is fantastic and i i've actually been meaning i've been thinking you know you guys have seen a tattoo i have of the last of us fireflies i would like to get a jin sakai tattoo you know maybe some small like right here or anything like that i do really like this game and i i want to get right into it i am going to play medium though i don't want to have too challenging the combat with you guys and to the point where you can't experience and we can't experience the gameplay together and then i'm going to go you know english um Japanese dialogue with the English subtitles because I do like that that's kind of like my favorite um, in terms of like authenticity and how it feels along with the gameplay all right and I just want to give a quick shout out you guys see the one in the middle right there that is gallery panda that is probably my favorite piece of artwork I have up there and then those two right there are actually from a place that I got in Indianapolis at their popcon so, uh, I just recently redid my room, so that I put those up there, I got some Funko Pops up there. Over here, um, the one all the way against the Spider-Man, if you guys actually can't see it, it is a Black Suit Spider-Man, it's the first Black Suit Spider-Man Funko they released. And I saw it, and I was like, I have to have it. It was $200, so I negotiated the guy down a little bit, so that way it wasn't so bad, and I, I bought some other Funko Pops from him, so that, again, so it wasn't so bad. I got the Scarlet Spider up there. Um, yeah, I mean, Indie PopCon is, like, one of my favorite places to go to, and if you guys ever have a chance, there's one in Kentucky, I believe, or Louisville. I don't, I don't remember where, but uh, there's Indie, and then there's another location. Absolutely love it. Great people. I meet some fantastic people there. They always have pretty good guests um i know coming up here in april they're going to have um chandler riggs is coming if you guys don't know who that is he was carl from the walking dead and they're, they're getting other big names too so and more to come as well so but let's let's talk about ghost of Tsushima a little bit when i first got this game and i saw this i was like ah so it's going to be one of these movie games there's not going to be a whole lot you know and um 
Now I saw this and I was like, okay, so this is obviously Mongols and everything like that. And I really wasn't knowing, knew what to expect. I didn't watch any gameplay of it. I didn't really hear anything about it until I was just scrolling through the PlayStation Store one day looking for a game to play and I saw this. And all I remember from my first time playing it is this is what Assassin's Creed should be like. This is what Assassin's Creed needs to be like. And I, I am so... I, I like Mirage. Haven't actually played it. I've seen gameplay of it, but I do like what I've seen so far. Um, I'm very excited for uh, Assassin's Creed Codename Red to come out, which is a Japanese-themed or Asian-themed uh, Assassin's Creed. And I just I love this time period. This time period is something that I've always been interested in, and just Japan in general. Um, and this storyline. I'll be honest, I didn't cry or anything, or any, see anything too emotional, that I was like, ah, you know, like, got to me. There was definitely some very sad and, like, heartfelt moments, but there was nothing that I was like, ah, you know, like, started crying, like, the Spider-Man 1, when that came out, I cried, um, you know, The Last of Us Part 1, I bawled my eyes out, I thought that was fantastic, Last of Us Part 2, same thing, just, you know. Seeing Jin's journey through this is absolutely fantastic, and we're gonna get right into it. Let's go. All right, and the game is beautiful, might I add. The game is beautiful, and that was one thing that um, I think The Last of Us 2 kind of had over it. This game is beautiful. It's just not um, like the last the Last of Us Part 2. You can move the grass, you know, you can move everything. So, yeah, I mean. This game kind of the same, but there's definitely still some things where there it's not, you know, as much. So, God, I just, I love just this game. Like, this game is fantastic. Top three games, like, for me personally, uh, they're all ironically Sony games. <laughs> uh, but I do really like, you know, Ghost of Tsushima. I love The Last of Us and Spider-Man. Like, those games are fantastic. And you can't go wrong with them. You can't. They're all very good story-driven games, and you can say what you will about, uh, like, Spider-Man games and stuff, but nothing changes, you know? They're all fantastic. So, just seeing, you know, everything and all the blood and how, just how in-depth they are with their details and everything. Oh. I remember playing this game and thinking like, ah, this is just going to be okay, I'm not really going to enjoy this one. Playing it more and more and then I, I was like, oh god, this is fantastic. This one. And this guy with the shield. There we go. There we go, break his shield. Again, break the shield. Cut him down. Let's see if one of them rushes. Oh, that's that's my that's one of my favorite things. There we go. Oh, I, I don't have the like the the button yet where I can end their suffering. I think the first time that I played this game, I did have it on English subtitles in the English dialect, and that's still good. But the Japanese, like, it just feels more natural. And I've played it. Obviously, I've played it multiple times. I played Iki Island, which is uh, the DLC, and um, you know. Ah, oh, fantastic. Just absolutely fantastic. You know, just that nice little, like, entry, entrance and everything was is just so good. I love it. Oh, 
such oh, such beauty. That's it's beautiful. It is fantastic. Oh, I love it. And the intro's not too long. You know, some games like this you see where it's just like, ah, it's a basic tutorial and you don't like it. It's so long. No. I'll be honest, I don't, I'm not a history buff. Well, I am, but not on this. I don't really know how accurate any of this is. I don't know if they actually took over the island. I don't know if this was the actual con that did it, but it, it's still a good story nonetheless. The the respect that he shows for him is is still like one of my favorite parts of the intro scene because he doesn't really show respect to anybody else, not even to Jin, but he shows respect to Shimura. The sweat. Just details like that. Just look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. I, I first time I played this, I was like, he killed him. I was like, oh, it's like a revenge. He's going to get a revenge for his uncle. And yeah, I was like, he killed him. Oh, here we go. So cool. Uh, I just love games. Like, I love just gaming and what it does to people, and I would love to record, like, games with my friends and post them on here. We're just kind of degenerate, so we can't always do that. <laughs> but I do I do have a plan with uh, Alex uh, to play A Way Out, and then me and my girlfriend actually have played It Takes Two. We won't be playing that, like, I wouldn't mind playing, like, the last couple missions, you know, recording them and stuff like that, but we won't be playing the whole It Takes Two, um, let's, let's, like, all the way through again. Alright. Where's, the, there it is. Slowly walk through. No sword, but he's got the the armor. Ooh. Can't do anything with that. You can just see where the bodies and everything. Seeing Jin's journey 
throughout this game is something that just really I don't say resonates because that's not the right word but it does move me it doesn't bring me to tears it does move me though and I wish obviously it's a Sony game so you can't really change like the path and everything like that most Sony games don't in fact there's a part of coming up very soon that I want to hopefully hopefully get to this episode and like show like what um, what I'm talking about and I'm, I'm not good enough to do it I like this game and I, I'm very good at the game but I'm not good that I'm not that good but what I'm talking about is there's a part where you can get Kotan Khan down to no health. None. And, like, the first time you play him. And what'll happen is he'll just have no health. There's nothing else he'll do. He'll just have no health and nothing. Um, so that's what I'm talking about. Like, you can beat him and there's certain things you can do in the story to, like... Where if it was not a Sony game and it was a different type of game, you know where you could change certain things, that would happen. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Like, Quiet. <sighs> yeah. See, like this this part right here is so important to Jim. Because I feel like he he sees how powerless they are with their way of like fighting and just their methods. He directly sees how powerless they are because he can't help without sneaking around. Hmm. <笑>お<笑> You don't go first. I don't I don't want to lead. The whole point is that I cannot lead. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Oh. Okay. Yes. There's always like one part that I'm like, how do they not see me? Like here, like how do they not see me? Obviously, you know, they, oh. That they see. But obviously there's other parts where I'm just like, ah. Okay. Yeah, I'm moving. Take like this guy. This guy right here should definitely see me at least, or hear me, or something. Oh, 
This is what I mean. The game should be like the. This is like a Assassin's Creed. There we go. And they're not coming back. This was him, right? I don't think so. There it is. Just get all the supplies, cause there we go. <sighs> the flashbacks, and this is like a good tutorial right here that I like. Like a good, I don't know what you would call it, a story tutorial kind of, where instead of right at the beginning of the game, you know, you have some, have a little bit of gameplay, and then you have the backstory. And they do this so frequently throughout the whole game, and it's one of my favorite aspects of the game, where every time you're going to learn something new, or every time in a new act, like, there's three acts, so every time in a new act, you're going to learn something new, and you flash back to something. And that's one of my favorite things. Hmm. <laughs> Taken many. Yeah. No. Not, not at all what he just said. <laughs> Learning different weapons, I think, was one of my favorites. There we go. See, very, very easy tutorial, but they make it fun because, like, they're going back. You know what I mean? They're going back and they're doing flashbacks and they're explaining, like, the first time he learns it, he's remembering this too. It's not like. It just happens, you know, it's not like, he, he's remembering it. He is... Lerman. I always forget about this part, always. One of my favorite ways, obviously there's no wrong way to play this. One of my favorite ways to play this, though, is like, at the beginning or any type of flashback, you always are like the the perfect student you're always like the one that your uncle wants right but then as you progress you know your uncle starts realizing like ah that he's not that same person anymore and then he starts realizing sorry i had to focus but as you progress you you see um how like the difference in Jin, and you can actually decide that difference you can say like no i'm being wrong or no we can't do that but or you'd be like actually i want to do that i want to i want to change so I, that's actually one of my favorite parts about it but you just can't change the actual story you can change the dialogue and you can make him seem like he is actually changing you just cannot change the story Yep. Here we go. Easy. Very simple. Yasumare <laughs> 
お前の相手で息を切らすほど置いてはおらんそれでは槍が相手の稽古を始めようわしの槍をかわしさっさと切り返してみようよしその息だよい切り返しだうまくよかったよいかかわしたらすぐさま攻めろわずかな反撃の気を待ち行かせ There we go. Oh, I tried to quick attack, not realizing that I already finished that part. You just get so you just get so into the game that you know. Cool. <laughs> I think one of my my actual like favorite combat story parts of this game is the、uh, the the standoff matches. I think that's my favorite. Done. Easy. <laughs> It's a tutorial. I'm on medium difficulty. Easy. Dai Dai, Toka no Bushua, Kiritsu Mamot Tekita. Nani o Monji Tekita Kawakaruka. Arji no Chuki. Onoreo Bisrukota. あと。申してみよう。え、これです。誉れ。ホナレ。ユーモンに戦い、境の家を守ることです。それは父の言葉であろう。お前にとっての誉れとは。それは民を守ることおのれを守れぬものだ。お前は優しいな。だがまずは<
あんた無茶ばかりするねあやつは戦えぬからなそれにこれ以上見殺しにはできぬあんたなら大勢を救える That's, that's why you, that's why you rescue her. 弟がモコにさらわれた。You lie. だから俺を助けたのか。私にはあの子しかいない。おじうえがお待ちなのだ。頼む。高さへ戻ればそれでいいんだ。おじうえをお救いした後でいいのならば、探してみよう。一緒に行くよ。The horse. Come here. Come here. There we go. Uh, こやつらは全部浜に連れて行かなかった馬だ。<laughs> Forgot. There's like one outfit where you do that. Um, you, you can see like a skirt. Yes. The digital deluxe horse. Let's pick it. I'll get a second horse anyway. So, um, I was like Kage, because like you're in the shadow. Like, you know, it's kind of, it, it's kind of like a. Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? You know, it's a it's foreshadowing. Like you're gonna be in the shadow, so you pick a horse. Your you, your horse's name is Shadow. That's kind of what I like. You know. Just love this game. Kaneta no ki. Zito wa shiro no naka da ne. Uh. I forget how to put your sword away. <laughs> I don't think maybe I just haven't unlocked that part yet. Standoffs. Standoffs are cool. Standoffs were an interesting part of this game. I did not know they were going to have. And then when you can chain them together, even better. Keep moving forward. <laughs> God, it's so cool when he just like pokes them like that and just leaves them. So cool. Is this? Oh, oh, I tried to do it. That's so cool. And you could just like. Ah. See, I don't like to tap triangle to like break the defenses. I'm more of a type of person to just like kind of dodge and everything like that. So, who comes?
comes first. Oh, I thought you had arrows. So cool. And then when you start unlocking different stances and all that, I like to use um, different stances, even for even not for the right right like weapons. I just like to use the different stances because I, I feel like they just they look cool too, like the. You get extra resolve for that too. And I never actually like explored this area because I, I you know I kind of rushed through it just in order to get to the like other locations and stuff because I, and I don't think there's anything really even here to explore so just kind of you know like barreling through all this is, is kind of the best in my opinion I don't remember when they teach me things Who's next? <laughs> Tell me that's not cool. Like, come on. When I, the first time I did that, I was like... I, I just... My jaw dropped. It was fantastic. I was like... So it was so cool because you just like poke him and then he pulls it out or like when we pull something to go poke him and they're like take it out and like spin around when he does it. Ah, uh. yeah. So this is the part that I'm talking about with um like you can beat Koten Khan but you cannot progress through after you beat him. If that makes sense. Like you can you can get his health down to zero. You will not progress until you actually get thrown over like the bridge. <laughs> There's always like that hint like that when he's charging at him and his uncle tells him to stop. That's like that hint of you know, the ghost of the ghost of Tsushima. I kind of want to try and beat him, but I don't think I will. Like, I, I just don't think I can. See, like, I don't think I can. No, no, I'm just, I'm just not that good. I'm not, especially with, like, that health, I'm just not that good. I've always wondered, that's gotta be a hard fall in the water. No matter, like, you're landing, you're still landing in the water, so you're not, obviously, you know, you could live. There's no way that he actually does, though, right? And then here's the Iki Island, um, you know. Little Iki Island clip. Lead up. I would love another like DLC where you could play as his as his dad. That'd be cool. Oh, that'd be awesome. Wakasama. 
若さまそろそろですああ今参る島中の者がお父上を弔いに来ております皆を返してくれ何をおっしゃいますか若さまが堺の家督なのですよああお一人ではありませんよお父上は風となり導いてくださりお母上は鳥となり見守ってくださいます父上はご本人がお伝えくださいましょう助かったゆり And then, you know, like this little walkthrough, you can see all the actual, like, people who will kind of help you. Like, Masako is here. I wish I could bow. There's no way for me to bow. Yeah, Ishawaka is here. Again, no way that I could bow. And then your uncle. So, Sube, the what does she not say this? Jin, so let him over. Now that I'm replaying this game and I, I'm actually trying to de think deeper into it, him saying I couldn't save him, I was a coward, like, you know, obviously that also leads into what he does in terms of fighting from the shadows and, you know, being the ghost. He feels that he can't save people as a samurai, but he can save people as the ghost. And he's, he's not necessarily a coward because he's saving people, he's protecting the people. Not crying, promise. Still just sad. You know, it, you know, it's sad. Very moving story. Not making me cry. And the, the wind system in this game is something now that it's, you know, now we're seeing it. The wind system in this game and how you, like, direct to go places is just, again, fantastic. It's so much better than just hitting a waypoint. You know, like, oh, uh, uh, I have to go here. Okay, it tells me where to go and I have to get there. No, like, sometimes there is no, like, point you have to go to. There's no, like, waypoint that it lists. And sometimes what it'll do, it'll just say, follow this, follow. You know, follow the wind. Like this. There's no waypoint for me to go to. It just tells me to follow the wind. And look who's there. Yuno.Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin!Jin
<laughs> That's actually kind of funny. でも信じまったら元の子もない。生き延びるためならなんだってやらなくちゃ。いや。このまま再びハーンに挑んだとしても帰り討ちに会うのは必定。他の手立てを考えればなるまい。そうして志村殿を救い故郷を取り戻そう
So there's no icon. You see how there's no icon? So you actually just have to directly go... I forget where it's at. Is it this way? Oh, it's right here. I walked right by it. Huh. So then there's these cool haikus that you can do. And... They give you kind of just like stuff, like cosmetic and everything. They don't, and all the cosmetics don't um, add stats or anything. So stats you earn through legends. It's really cool. So, a golden temple. You're, you're thinking of refuge. And then he'll say him. So, usually by the third one, I kind of forget the first one. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Sorry about that, guys. Don't know what happened there. I apologize about that. But this is, as you can see, this is what happens with the headbands. And you always get a headband with the haikus. And then it'll tell you, like, the actual haiku that you picked. So... And then if we go in there, we go to gear. Yes. Empty head slot. So Hiro Tsushima. And I think this is the... Yeah, so this is the... um, Like the the deluxe one. I'm going to wear this one for now. Just because increased the health and... You know, reduces damage and everything. And then there's this one too. But I've always liked the Clan of Sakai. And then we can pick one. So killing enemies restores health. Um, accessories. You could change like what what it is. And then obviously you can change the saddle and stuff. So I have storm wind, but uh, I'm gonna do this one. Yeah. So and then your tails collections like. Your haikus. And then satchels. So this is like where all your goods are and stuff like that. I think it's cool. Alright guys. I'm going to end this video here. I can't wait to play this again next week. Just because I absolutely love this game. It's a pleasure. And you guys have a good one. Alright. Check out all the other videos in our YouTube channel. And please go check out all our other podcasts on Red Hawk Media. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.